Hey guys, Anthony Four Before Diesel. Got a couple of sets of injectors we're checking out here that have been returned to us. I'll just quickly mentioned that's what most people do. Um, send them back to us. It allows us to do a few things. Strip them down and check. Get a free contamination check. <laughs> Obviously, water does go through filters, and if we see corrosion on the internal parts, it's only very fine, but we can see it. And uh, if you've got that, we'll let you know. So it'd be wise to get your tanks cleaned out, etc. It's very rare, but it's worth a check. It's a free check. Well, cost you one of these red bags, as I said, about, I don't know, 13 or 14 bucks for a three kilo red bags, all you need. Often I get a little note like this with it, which is all part, it's sort of good R&D as well. So we get to check from the serial numbers. We know the build dates of the injectors. So we get to learn about what internals are in there, which ones are DLC coded, which ones aren't, and the sort of things that happen with different year manufactured injectors, etc. Um, anyway, so let's have a look at this set on the right first. This is out of a 120 Prado, a 2008 120 Prado. Apparently had about 236,000 Ks on the clock. And um, I can't remember, to be honest, the reason for replacing them. I'd be guessing because they were probably done once and they're due again. Um, and I can confirm going by the dates of these injectors, they were replaced. So. Dan, if you're watching, I'm not going to say too much. Dan T, there you go. I don't know if you can see in the video just over here. Anyway, Dan, all right. Anyway, with the suburb, Queensland, anyway, all good. These are your injectors. Just stripped them down, had a look at them. Um, we've obviously got the internals here, you can see. What I can tell you about those is they were replaced at some stage, I'd say around 2014. Uh, Hang on, let me get it right. If I'm going to give you, let's get it right. Yeah, probably sometime late 2014, if that makes sense. Maybe early 15. So only about four or five years ago. So I've just had a quick look at these. Just going to have a quick look with at the uh, nozzle needles. Well, and tell you about these. So I can't do a video on everyone's injectors, but um, this is what I try and do and give you some feedback. <clears throat> so they look pretty good for what they are. So it'll be interesting to hear about if these were noisy and that. Dan, if you watch this and you end up putting a comment up, if I drop a link somewhere on one of our Facebook pages with this, <coughs> obviously it'll be on YouTube because that's when we know where they all are. Um, <coughs> so I'll explain again the difference. So 120, 150, that's why I sort of every video I try and do something different, compare the pair. Maybe you can see some differences already, but um, with these, those sort of climate, I don't know what kilometres that are done on these injectors, I'd guess about a hundred or so thousand k's, but those nozzle needles don't look too bad. With these injectors, these not working right, the command piston is often what causes the problem. Now, just having a look for myself, um, contamination, no, that's okay, so you don't need to worry about that, but I'm just going to try and bring them up to the camera, and if it if we can get it to focus sort of thing at the right distance if the right light you can just see the wear on those command pistons right look it's it's different to what they normally are they're almost a bit discolored like they're cooked so we'll say these ones are cooked the cook set maybe we'll call these cooked injectors no 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 no, no big deal it's just um yeah they you can see the wear it's just shocking so th that's the issue with the 120s the injectors, how they wear, um, that's the probably the worst wearing part. Um, the seats we're not going to go into too much. We sort of did that in the last video, so you can go back and have a look at that. We don't know who put them in. They've been changed before, so whatever. It's not really going to give us any sort of gauge on how long they... We like to look at the seats as well. So if you're returning the injectors, the whole key to it is also, please return the red caps. Uh, with these, I think, you know, one did, one didn't. But these caps we supply, they come off the injectors... We supply those with kits if you ask for them, okay? It's one of those things you've got to ask for it. Oh, have you got those caps? If you ask me for the caps, we'll include some caps, but we're going to run out. So if you can, when you send your injectors back, you'll get a set of these caps on the injectors plus the set that I've sent you. So eight caps in total, send them back to us so we can reuse them. Same with a crow's foot spanner, which we've mentioned in other videos. Um, there's a crow's foot spanner, it's free, but you're not going to use it for another five or ten years. If you can, send it back so we can send it to the next guy. Well, they're all just going to get sent around. We'll have hundreds of them, it's all good. Um, no need to worry about that. If you need to keep it, you can keep it, but it'd be helpful if you sent it back as well, the crow's foot. And the dowel as well, for that matter. You could send it all back, you know. You, you send in the package anyway, so it's just helpful, but you don't have to. It's all good. 
Um, now this set, so they pretty well covers that set. You know, they look a bit dirty and whatever. I don't think they had blow by, but you know, they look a bit grubby overall. These, this set over here, a lot cleaner. Um, they are all full DLC coated, so you can see that. You know, I haven't given those a good clean. I probably should just give. I've got a dirty rag here. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. There's always an oil residue which you're going to see on those, so it kind of makes it not look so good. But I can tell you now, I'm going to get them all up here and have a quick look. And uh, I'll try and put them in front of the camera. I'll try and get a rag that's a little bit cleaner. Let's see. And so we can have a reasonable look at them. Uh, I can't see anywhere. This is how they always look, these things. They're awesome. Obviously, once they've done 300,000 Ks, they do look a little bit different. But these have only done 85,000 k. This is out of 2,000. You can read the note yourself. Hi, Anthony. April 2,000 highlights, 85k. Cold rattle. Would like your feedback on how these look given low k's. Yep. New ones, fixed issues. So there you go. You know, I try and talk people out of injectors sometimes, but I don't want to be the guy that said, nah, she'll be right, mate. And then something happens and then you go, oh, but you said it'd be okay, right? So I'm not going to try hard. I have talked people out of it. I hope I didn't make a mistake there. But look. It's just, I haven't seen it. We haven't got a crystal ball. We can do the best we can do, right? So here's those command pistons. They just look awesome, and that's generally how they look. They're just an awesome bit of kit, I reckon. Very happy with those. Okay, now the nozzle needles. As I've said, this is normally what we're seeing wearing in these, and this would be the lowest, probably the lowest case that we've seen them wearing if they are worn. It's going to be hard to see. It's almost going to be get out the... Uh, we need to get some sort of camera system where it zooms in and you can see what we can see under a microscope sort of setup, you know. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, I can see a little bit of wear, so I wonder, I don't know if that's, I don't know if you can see that. Just tiny little bit, it's not bad at all. Right just down on the sharpest end of the nozzle, that second one in. Yep, I'm just going to bring it over here. I'm just having a look for myself. Yeah, so not not all of them, but I think one of them. Yep, it's that microscope needed thing, okay? So look, you'll have to take my word for it. With my eye, I can see what, wear on one of those. So look, it seems that those nozzle needles are wearing and they can cause a bit of noise. Obviously, they're not going to be working quite right. Perhaps affecting the spray pattern or the, you know, the duration or whatever. So anyway... There you go, that's what we do. Um, have a look at those and there's a bit of a report. This, The link to this one will get posted in our VIP group on Facebook for the members to see. And obviously, this one, look, we've got a lot of videos on YouTube, we're banking them up. There's a whole heap of videos there. Not all of them are public, some are a bit private, you've got to have the link, that sort of thing. So they'll be in the VIP group. Sometimes they get sent directly to people's mobiles, you know, if it's something relevant to their situation. And, um, and a whole heap of exposure videos, you know, for, um, you know, we can just click that and all of a sudden, boof, there's the information, do you know what I mean? So we're not planning to do that on some subjects, but, you know, it's, it's handy to have it there, you know, you just click the button and it's bingo. Anyway, at a later date, there's always going to be more videos added, um, things change, that's the internals of these injectors, 120 Prados, as always, they're cooked, you know, these injectors, okay, given they're 2000 and about 2004, early 2014 built, a um, bit disappointing to see that sort of wear, but you know, I mean, it's disappointing. You've got, you got to understand, the 120 Prado injectors, they're not full DLC. So when we say DLC and full DLC, there's three out of, two out of three parts in these injectors that are DLC, in these it's three out of three, okay? We're not looking at the other part because we're not going to see anything on them, it doesn't matter about that. These are the main things we can see showing you on the camera. But with the 120s, it's probably the best best recommendation I can say. You know, I'm currently saying about seven. It's all, there's a few variables, right? Seven years, 170,000 between the seats needing replacement and the injectors needing replacement. Um, that's right with these. Okay, with these, it's probably a bit sooner. The best recommendation I could probably say is seven years is probably getting a bit long. Now, when I say that, some people are going, oh, but mine lasted 10. Well, they didn't last 10 years. They were lucky for 10. They weren't working right for the last four or something along those lines. These are more of a best guide I can give you is probably replace them every five years or somewhere around between the 120 and 150. It's kind of, you think, 
Depends on your budget. Well, it doesn't really, because if you've got a lower budget, so you do them less often, you're more likely to end up costing you an engine. So, you know, that doesn't work either. So look, these sort of, I'm more gonna to aim towards five, six years, 120, 150K. I was hoping they were gonna improve and, and wear a bit better than that. Don't get me wrong, it's not really bad, but, and I didn't see the readings on them either. So I could be prematurely bringing it back to do it more often, but let's say between five and seven years. These, like I said, seven years, 170, whatever comes first, if they're DLC coded. If they start to get noisy prematurely, well, you know, you get the odd one. There's not many like this, I've got to say. There's not many under 100,000. Um, most of them are, yeah, basically getting done at recommended time as prevention preventative maintenance you know 180k 150k 200k quite a few bit late over to a lot of them are doing over 200,000 and they're fine okay and hopefully good for another over 200,000 and a lot of these guys have got their crack piss and insurance as we explained in other videos it's not insurance it's like insurance it's a group thing where we're just putting in a bit of money each couple hundred bucks works out to be $40 a year and then we've got to fund there it's a crack piss and fund if you like so rather than going around the internet whinging and complaining and moaning and carrying on We've got prevention, that's no chips, no tunes, get your fresh injectors in there, use the vehicle correct and all the correct maintenance. And now we've even got a well, worst case scenario that doesn't work out for you. We've got to have one in 60, right? So we'd have to have more than one in 60 cracking a piston for this not to work. So everyone gets on board, puts in their couple hundred bucks, we can afford to replace one in 60 Prado engines, right? And you know what, if it becomes a bigger problem, we can up it to 400 bucks, then it's, what's that? That's $80 a year, and we can replace one in 30 Prado engines. Is that crazy or what, right? It's awesome insurance. We'll call it insurance. It's awesome. Why would you not be doing that? All right, guys, if you can, obviously, you can do that. It's only for people that reside in Australia, have purchased the injector kit and installed it as per our recommendations, either by our videos or recommended installers, etc. There's more information available in the VIP group after you purchase your injectors. Once again, if you haven't already, hit up subscribe, put turn the bell on so you don't miss out on the next important bit of information. And thanks for watching, really appreciate your support. Thanks guys, see ya.